So clearly, the the budget has uh, gone uh, be, gone above and beyond Nehruvian uh, planning from five years to twenty five years. Uh, so as we look forward to the Amrit Kal, uh, some elements of what that Amrit Kal vision is uh, are very clearly visible through the the budget speech. It appears that that Amrit Kal will have a lot of physical infrastructure. Uh, good ports, railways, highways, but only 25 kilometers, which is a little bit confusing for me. Uh, but uh, a fair amount of physical infrastructure and a lot of virtual infrastructure, uh, including, uh, much to my disappointment, uh, telev uh, televised learning for children rather than serious investments in education. And that's where the challenge is. So we are clearly presenting, a, the government is clearly presenting a vision of greater public investment in public infrastructure. Uh, he, uh, I have no quibble with that. It is right that uh, more public infrastructure will crowd in private investment. However, there is a time lag for all of this. And right now we are still dealing with a pandemic and a number of critical crises that have emerged out of, those, out of the pandemic. Number one, we still haven't, even in the short term, uh, been able to address the demand for work and um, a quick look at the budget numbers as they are coming out while we are uh, uh, here talking with you. It appears that even Narega budgets have not increased for this year, despite the challenge that we experienced over this current fiscal, where a low, lower level of budgeting meant that you still have 91 like lakh households that demanded work, not receiving work. So we are still not quite there in terms of an economy that is ready to look forward, uh, certainly not not in terms of the large portion of the economy that is informal. Education, um, health, critical elements of where there has been deep stress over these last two years. Uh, no mention of the of these challenges in the speech and clear and, and therefore we don't really know uh, whether there's going to be any increase in investment. Let's also not forget that over this last two years, uh, overall expenditure in basic public services, education, health, non-COVID aspects of health, even Jal Jeevan Mission which saw, saw an announcement in the budget speech this morning, um, have actually had very low expenditures uh, and, uh, and, and spend on account of the pandemic. So there was there's a need to push uh, overall public services investments back up. We don't have that. So mm -hmm. um, to my mind, we have a vision of great physical infrastructure and a wonderful virtual reality. Um, but that has to be backed up with enabling conditions. And over these next 25 years, we don't seem to want to invest in basic human capital, we know from the last 25 years of liberalization, the biggest limitation in our economic trajectory had been the lack of investment in human capital. We seem to continuing we seem to be continuing on that trend, despite the fact that we face a pandemic. Um, and, and that brought out all the holes in our uh, in our economy. Okay, I just